driven by Mazda. AM. It's 25 past seven. Thanks for being with us. The Breakers started the weekend on a high beating the Sydney Kings 95-87 in the first of what could go to five games for the NBL Championship Series. However, last night at Spark Arena, their fortunes were reversed with the Kings winning 81-74. Breakers player Sam Timmons joins us this morning and we appreciate your time. Thank you, Sam. Um, first of all, one each now. So how is the mm -hmm. team feeling? You're going to have to head over to Sydney this week. Yeah, no, good. Um, obviously, uh, after the game, there was no kind of confusion about what happened. We all kind of, you know, were looking at each other in the locker room afterwards and all had an understanding of why that game went the way it did. And that's the beauty of uh, of a series. You know, it's not one game, it's five. And so now we've just got to focus on game three, recollect, recover and get ready for it. Uh, we heard, overheard the um, coach, Modi Mayor, and um, one of the timeouts saying, you know, it's not going to be easy. Is that a mantra of this team that actually this is a real challenge and, and that's the way we have to think about it? For sure. I mean, like everything this season, there's, every step along the way, there's been something, you know. So I think this team is very well weathered in terms of things just not going smoothly and uh at this point of the season, after the amount of kind of turns that we've taken as a team, we're very well prepared for any sort of adversity, for things not going to plan, and then, you know, being able to understand why it happened and get back on track. So, I, yeah. I guess that's a sign of a winning team, though, right? To, to have that adversity and to overcome it. But neither uh, team has won at home, neither the Kings or Breakers this whole season. What's with yeah. that? Who knows? Honestly, <laughs> like... It's, I, everyone's like well aware of that too but you know I think sometimes it actually is just like a matter of sometimes you fall into a little bit of it's a bit of a comfort zone at home too and you play mm -hmm. better when you're on edge and you know like you got to go and take it from them as at home you kind of feel like it's yours to lose and you know you can read into that more so but if you had to come up with reason it's probably one of them to be honest yeah interesting well at least you're back in sydney this week so hopefully that <laughs> yeah. might help yeah um, so it's sam, always sweet taking it from the from the sydney fans <laughs> yeah exactly sam um this morning we've also been talking about basketball and how it's seen as a whole more secondary students play basketball than rugby and the increase uh the trend is very much increasing so yeah. I was thinking that maybe it should be considered just as much a national sport as rugby. Now, for you, I know you had to choose basketball over union and your dad played for the Highlanders and Southland. So how did that decision come about for you? Um, honestly, like, it kind of happened without even, with me not even, like, being aware that I was making the decision. I just remember after assembly in year nine when I was at Otago Boys one time, the coach at the time was like, all right, all, you know, year nine boys worth their salt, stay behind after assembly and sign up for rugby. And in my head, I was like, I don't actually want to stay behind and play rugby this year. I'm just going to play basketball now. And that's yeah. how it happened. And I never played another game of rugby. And yeah, I just love, I just read at that moment, I was like, I just love basketball so much that I don't really want to put my time into a different sport. And yeah, dad used to play as well. So he was all about it. He actually loves basketball just as much as rugby as a spectator. So he was, he was I'll be probably a bit gutted, but yeah, happy for it. Well, here you are now, a breaker. And do you think it should be considered more as a national sport in New Zealand? I think so. I mean, like every, almost like every kid these days is coming up asking about like NBA stuff that I don't even know. Like they're more tapped into the, to the NBA than I am. They, everyone is like idolizing what those guys in the NBA are doing. And I think, uh, for sure that people probably aren't as aware that they have high level basketball on their doorstep here in New Zealand. So I, I would love for that to start to become more recognized as uh, a sport that the, New that the nation can get behind. Yeah, well, they are in their droves um, playing it at school, at least. Sam, it's Ryan here. Good to see you. So based, morning, based on history, so you, you win when you're away, they win when they're away. Your next one's in Sydney, so you might lose. Uh, sorry, no, you'll win. Then, you're in, New, say, then yeah. you're in New Zealand. Going with your trend, yeah. We'll They'll win. win. And then you'll be in Sydney for the final, which means you'll win the series. 
Yeah, well, if if that's all we have to do is show up and just count on the statistics to eventuate, <laughs> then yeah, we're, we're sitting pretty. Got it in the bag. Good on you, Sam. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for no being worries. with us. That's uh, Breakers Sam Timmons. Oh, and just quick shout out to my mum on the couch watching in Dunedin. Just had a pretty big operation. So, hey, mum. Oh, hey, mum. Thanks what, for watching. What's your mum's name, Sam? Kaz. 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 Hey, Kaz. Yeah. Get well soon, Kaz. Yeah. It, it is half past seven. Then game three this Friday, Sydney. Game five will be in Auckland next Sunday. That's Breakers player Sam Timmons with us this morning. Right now.